Hello everyone and welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to write and pronounce consonant plus LE syllables. And especially it is about how you should teach your kids consonant plus LE syllable. When I say consonant plus LE syllable, so I mean the words like table, candle, sickle, rifle, giggle, purple, castle and skittle. In all these words, you can see that I have divided them into syllables and the last syllable is a consonant plus LE. And the sound that you get here is bul, dal, khal, fal, g. So how will the children know this that they have to write a consonant plus LE to write these spellings? So if this is something that interests you, be with me to the end of the video. And if you are new to my channel, let me tell you that this channel is for you if you are interested in English phonics, English spelling rules, English grammar, English creative writing, and above all, how to teach all this stuff to your little ones in multi-sensory ways. So consider subscribing to the channel now. And without any further ado, let's dive in. So let's first talk about how to know while writing that it's a consonant plus LE syllable. Why is it crucial to know? Because the consonant plus LE syllable is giving the L sound that can be written with EL and as well as AL. So children often get confused that what should they write EL, AL or simply LE. If you want to learn the difference between these sounds and how to teach this to kids, the link to that video is in the description box. Right now, we are only talking about the consonant plus LE syllable. So in this video, you will only get the clues, tips and tricks to figure out about the consonant plus LE syllable. So let's get back to consonant plus LE syllable. It's a very simple trick. You can simply help them memorize these sounds. If they already know the consonant blends like bil, kil, dil, fil, gil, pil, sil, til, and zil that we teach in phonics, they can also remember this rule. Just tell them that if you hear any of these consonant blends at the end of the word, write them with a silent final E and you are done. To help kids memorize these consonant blends or the final uh, consonant plus LE syllable, you can also help them make a piano on their notebooks and sing these consonant blends. For example, bil, kil, dil, fil, gil, pil, sil, til, zil. Once again, bil, kil, dil, fil, gil, pil, sil, til, zil. What will happen with this rhythm? If you are a teacher, you must have an idea that rhythms, songs, poems really help children to memorize things. So just make it as a rhythm. And you can notice here that at sil place, I have written S-T-L-E. So do write these four letters and tell them that in sil, we write T, that is a silent letter. And once they have got this rhythm in their mind, whenever they will be writing any word in which they have any of these spellings, they will never forget that they have to write it with consonant plus LE. Now let's see how to pronounce the words with consonant plus LE syllable. Remember one thing that you cannot detach the consonant from the LE syllable ever. For example, if your word is table, so you can see that we have two vowels in this word. It means that this is this must be a syllable and LE is already telling you that this is a LE syllable, right? So in between these two vowels, we have only one consonant that is B or letter B. So now if you want to break this word into syllables, you will give B to LE syllable and break the word from here. And now when you will read the word, so since vowel is at the end of syllable, it will say its long sound, that is its name. So the pronunciation of the word will be table, table. A will say its long sound, right? And this is your correct pronunciation and correct syllable division. Just to assure you that this is the right way to break the word, I'm breaking it the other way to tell you how the pronunciation changes. Let's suppose that we break the word from here. This is 
a vowel, a silent vowel, and this is another vowel. Between these vowels, we have a consonant and we have given this consonant to the first syllable, right? This is the first syllable. Now read the word, please. The word will be t, a, b, tab, and a, uh, tab, a, uh, tab, a. Uh. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. So that's why this pronunciation and segmentation is incorrect. You always need to give the consonant to the le syllable and then you will read the word accordingly. If it's an open syllable, vowel say its name and if it is a closed syllable that I'm just going to show you in the other example, it will say its sound. Now have a look at these examples. The word is ruffle. We have given F to LE and then we have another F. So the word will be ruffle because after you we have f, this is a closed syllable word it will be ruffle ruffle this is another word handle we have two consonants we have le here the le pattern and another vowel is here so we can easily give one consonant to this syllable and the other consonant to this syllable the word will be handle Vowel will say it's short sound because it is a closed syllable. There is a consonant after the vowel. In this word, we have only one consonant before between the le syllable and the vowel. So now, as you know that we need to keep the consonant with the le syllable, you will break here and the word will be rifle. I will say it's long sound because it is at the end of syllable. This is called the open syllable rule. If you want to learn it or if you want to teach this to your kids, the link to this rule is in the description box. You can also get the free worksheets from my website all about open and closed syllable rules. And now let's have a look at some word list for consonant plus LE syllables. Table, cable, noble, bible, double, trouble, gobble, terrible. Curl syllable pattern. In curl, we can have C-L-E as well as C-K-L-E because they both together also make the same sound. Circle, miracle, cycle, uncle, icicle, sickle, trickle, chuckle. Exception to this rule is muscle where letter C is silent. Okay, so you can give this word as an exception. Next is dull syllable. Handle, candle, puddle, spindle, dwindle, swindle, girdle, and brindle. Let's see some words for, for full syllable. Raffle, stifle, trifle, waffle, baffle, ruffle, muffle. Girl syllable, angle, eagle, bugle, boggle, single, mingle, goggle, and giggle. Pearl syllable, purple, maple, example, grapple, trample, steeple, crumple, scruple. Now you should know that why I'm saying scruple, not why not scruple. Open syllable. Now we have the sil words. Castle or castle. Pronunciation differs in American and British English. Castle is British. Nestle, bustle, hustle, rustle, jostle, and pestle. Till syllable. Shuttle, startle, brittle. Untitle, subtitle, dismantle, whittle. And now the zil syllable. Puzzle, nozzle, dazzle, muzzle, sizzle, fizzle, guzzle, and nuzzle. So these were some examples of consonant plus le syllable words. You have got the rules for writing them. You have got the rule for pronunciations. Hope you can teach this well to your kids. I'll see you soon with something new. If you have got something useful from the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. 
Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.